Portland Trailblazers are now just somehow, some way. I can't believe this. Hassan Whiteside is now a part of the Portland Trailblazers. Hassan Whiteside in the stats this season, he played 72 games, averaged 12.3 points per game, 11.3 rebounds, field goal percentage of 57.1, 0.8 assists, and 3 point percentage of 12.5. What was my reaction? And for the trade, goodbye Maurice Harkless and Myers Leonard. So I guess I can forget about the Ennis Cantor. Because this, this uh, Hassan Whiteside is a better center. The problem is he's right now his contract will be the, some of the problem. When he signed with the contract for Miami, it was 98 million four hundred nineteen thousand five hundred fifty uh, five hundred thirty eight now for this these now for this season this season he'll be averaging twenty four million six hundred four thousand eight hundred eighty five with the Portland Trailblazers Maurice Harkless is gone which I will miss I will miss but he never really did anything and we just signed Mario Hasonja, and we re-signed Rodney Hood. Which, honestly, the Rodney Hood signing, I really wasn't surprised because really, like, no one else was talking about him. Maurice Harkless... And this was his last year in his contract, was averaging 11 million... 11,000, 0, 11,236 million, uh, 23600 dollars. Now for Myers Leonard, who was, uh, sorry, I, I'm trying to find how much he made. Myers, gosh, Myers Leonard, I, I still think it's funny. That I somehow got Aminu, Evan Turner, and Myers Leonard gone. My three most annoying Blazer players. They're all gone. Myers is going to... What he was going to average this season... Would be 11, uh, 11, 286517 So... I'm very confused why did Portland someone made this trade. But at the same time, you have to understand... Portland needed the center. And Hassan Lights, I don't forget, when he was a free agent, his second option was the Portland Trailblazers. So now that he's with the Portland Trailblazers, I think this was somewhat of a good move. Because really, you don't know when Nurk comes back. So really, what else this tells me is that they're going to they're gonna move on with Ennis Cantor. And that's basically what it tells me. And... Unless, like, Hassan Whiteside plays, like, a power forward position and they re-sign Cantor or something like that, but there's no way they're going to re-sign Cantor now. There's no way. You just trade for a center in Hassan Whiteside. So, what Portland did, you could say was a good move because the team's trying to win a championship now, and yet, let's say... NBA Finals, let's, I'm not saying we're going. the Blazers are going. Let's just say Blazers and Raptors in the NBA Finals. Cantor would not have to travel. So basically that part will, will help. But really, I will be stunned that they somehow keep Cantor and put Hassan Whiteside in the power forward position, even though I don't think that's possible. But Hassan Whiteside hasn't, wasn't, hasn't been happy with Miami for a while. I remember even one time reading an article that he regretted going back to Miami. But the fact that the Portland Trailblazers made this trade. Mario Hazonja signing, re-signing Ronnie Hood. I think really, and this guy can also play defense. The offseason of the Blazers has somewhat been impressive, I think, in my opinion. Maurice Harkless is gone. And really, Mario Hazonja is a better scorer overall than Harkless. Kent Beesmore is obviously going to replace for Evan Turner because 
they got Kent Beesmore because they felt like Hood was going to leave them. But now Kent Beesmore will be probably the backup shooting guard. I think he should. And then you have now Mario Hazonja. He probably is. I don't know what they're going to do in that position right there. Because I know, you know what this also tells me? That Ronnie Hood will be the starting small forward, which is the right move overall for the Portland Trail Blazers because they haven't had a small forward in such a long time. The only last good small forward I can think of that was a complete over. Overall, like scoring and defensive, was Nicholas Batum, but now it's now it's Rodney Hood. So the fact that you re-sign Rodney Hood for two years, you trade for Hassan Whiteside, who's a better defender than Ennis Cantor. And I will promise you, if Cantor does like end up with a different team, the Blazer crowd will be cheering for him proudly because of what he did for the organization. So really, if this is really tells us that Cantor. Is leaving because I think only Hassan Whiteside only plays one position and not a power forward position as well. But overall, I'll miss Cantor. I really love that guy. He's a nice guy. He's always going to be a citizen of Portland. But overall, the offseason so far for the Blazers, making this type of move, getting Najir Little, trading for Kent Beesmore, re-signing Ronnie Hood somehow for a two-year deal, which I was, a two-year deal, yeah, and I was shocked that he took that much. At the same time, not, because no other team was talking about him, and he was not talking about any other team. Mario Hazonja, who is probably going to be, like I said, I I don't know what they're going to do for the backup between shooting guard and small forward. But, He's a better scorer than Harkless. That's the one thing I I think Portland will not miss. And now uh, training for Hassan Whiteside to come to Portland. And like I said, don't forget when he was a free agent, he had Portland as his second option. So now I finally get to see what if he sta- he went to Portland. Now I got to finally see what that what if would look like. But there's just now one position left, and I have no idea what they're going to do. Because I remember bringing up Kevin Love, draining away Mark Harkless, Myers, and two first-round picks for Kevin Love. I have no idea what they're going to do with that power forward position because what it, this is also telling me overall – is that they're going to rely on Zach Collins. That's what it kind of tells me. They're willing to rely now on Zach Collins. They think he's now ready to take the starting role. And overall, I think he is ready. And you guys know me always wanting Zach Collins to play. But the fact that we trade for Hassan Whiteside, who was a better defender than Cantor, better player overall than Cantor, which I'm still somewhat shocked. It's not been a bad off season so far for the Blazers. Impressive trades so far for a guy in Kent Beesmore who you, Brian, because you didn't know what Hood was going to do, bring in somehow Hood. Drafting Nishir, Nishir Little. It's somehow game. I don't know what Mario Hazonja will be for Portland. I have no idea what they're going to do with him. He's either going to be the backup small forward, the backup shooting guard, and probably most likely the backup small forward. I would think so because I think Kempe's more. What should at least try backup shooting guard from CJ. Even though the offseason is not done yet, and you know, training now for Hosan Whiteside, the offseason is not done yet, but overall, it's so far a good offseason. There's just one position left. Who are they going to get for that one position in the power forward, or are they going to rely on Zach Collins? Because moving on with Al Farouk Aminu just tells me they might as well rely more on. Zach Collins. But what do you guys think about 
this right about now. What do you guys think of the, this move of the Portland Trailblazers now tr- signing in? So, I mean, not signing, trading. My name is Maurice Harkos for us on Whiteside. Leave a comment down below. Hit the like button and share it. Should be your friends. Subscribe to me for more videos like this one. This is TGTV Tank Mode. Sign off, and well, it's so far a good offseason. And also, good luck to Seth Curry. Seth Curry to the Mavericks. Good luck, man. Wait, four years? Wait, what? They signed him a four... What?